Hi, today we are going to talk about the new uh, Nesco Coffee Roaster. Um, this was just released this year. And for anyone familiar with the older Nesco, this is a totally new redesigned roaster. So it's gonna have completely different features compared to the older model. Um, just to walk through the basics, as you can see, it's pretty small, um, nice small footprint, easy to fit in your kitchen. It has this nice handy handle. Um, so easy to move around and kind of looks like a coffee cup, which is fun. Uh, it's got a four ounce batch size. That's going to be a quarter pound and each roast is going to take between 18 and 20 minutes. Um, as far as controls go, it's very minimal. This is a very simple, easy roaster to use. You'll see it has three control buttons down at the bottom. These first two are pre-programmed roast cycles. You can choose between a dark roast and a medium roast. And then there's a cool down button. Uh, the cool down feature will automatically kick in after 18 minutes with both of the pre-programmed roast cycles. But if something happens and you wanna go into cool mode a little bit earlier, you can press that button and it'll take you right in there. If you wanna look at the components, First, it's got a lid. It has this cool touch lid, so it's easy to pull off even after it's been roasting. You can also see it has a glass viewing window around the top. Um, that's gonna allow you to check the progress of the roast while it's in, uh, in progress. Um, I will say it's helpful if you have like a flashlight or a cell phone to kind of shine some light in through the window. It's gonna give you a better sense of what's going on in there. Okay. If you look at the middle, here we go. This is a chaff collector basket, kind of similar in design to what you'll see on like the fresh roast models. Does a really nice job of uh, collecting chaffs. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, inside, it almost looks like a modified popcorn popper. You can see it's got this metal chamber with some side vents along the bottom that are gonna push hot air in. That said, this roaster works very differently compared to a popcorn popper. It uses much lower heat and less agitation, so you're not gonna see the beans moving as fast. It's gonna be a much longer roast time, again, 18 to 20 minutes. Um, and it's gonna be much more limited in terms of what you can get out of it. Um, in terms of ease, it's great. You press a button, it does its thing. The medium is gonna give you a really nice kind of full city, full city plus roast. Dark roast is gonna give you a really nice full city plus to Vienna roast, um, if you like that darker roast. If you want to do a lighter roast, a city roast, or even a city plus roast, that's gonna be next to impossible to achieve with this roaster. So if you prefer a lighter roast, I definitely wouldn't recommend the Nesco, just because in my experiments with it, I truly couldn't get it to hit first crack until maybe 16 minutes into the roast, and it progresses very quickly from uh, first crack into uh, kind of more roast development. Okay, so as you can see, we have loaded our beans into the roaster. Again, this is a four ounce batch. You can use less, you can't really use more. Um, as you can see, the beans are moving pretty slowly. You're not seeing a lot of circulation or the kind of agitation that you'd expect with like the Nostalgia Popcorn Popper or with some of the other air roasters we carry. And now you can see slowly we're starting to enter the tanning phase. It's getting a little more yellow. And here we're just about hitting first crack. Again, we're pretty deep into the roast. It's been going for a while now. Um, it's going to progress through first crack really quickly. You're gonna see that go on for about a minute. Um, and then once you're out of first crack, you're really already into the medium roast uh, kind of level. You're looking at a full city, even if you hit the cool down button right now or even dumped the beans into a colander you're gonna be at the, the medium roast level safely there. And surprisingly, given there's not a lot of agitation, you can see there's actually a really consistent, easy, uh, even roast, not a lot of tipping, not the kind of scorching you might expect uh, given the lack of agitation.
In terms of warranty, it does have a one-year warranty that is provided by the manufacturer, so you'll have to contact Metalware uh, to get a replacement model if anything happens to it. It is a limited warranty, so if there's something defective or wrong about the machine, they will send you a replacement or help you fix it. Um, if you have an accident and it falls on the ground or something like that, um, you might have to pay uh, for a replacement or for replacement parts, so it's worth bearing that in mind. Um, all in all, this is a great roast for someone who doesn't want to do any roast profiling, who just wants to click a button and let it do its thing. It's going to give you a really nice, consistent, medium or dark roast. If you're more of a tinkerer, if you want to mess around with your roast level, if you want an opportunity to change some of the heat or fan settings, then you might be better off choosing a different roaster. Um, and that's the Nesco.